from Acarunia to North London. You can drive there in a day. But for Lucas, getting here has been his life's work. The Spanish frontman has had a footballing journey like few others. From the fringes of the game back in his homeland to the Ukraine, then back again via Greece. It's been a long and winding road, and that began at a young age with a leap into the unknown. When I left my home in La Coruña at the age of 15 to play in Basque Country, I was only a kid with high hopes, dreaming of playing professionally. I spent a year and a half there. It was my first time away from home without my family, and it was difficult. That's when you start to mature, though. Then I went home for six months. After that, I went to Madrid for four years. Once again, I was without my family or friends. Being that bit older and a little more mature, though, I learned many more life lessons. You learn how to survive on your own, how to prepare meals, how to do your washing. These are things that you don't do as a child because everything is done for you by your mother or relatives. My next move was to Ukraine, and that was a huge change. The culture there is totally different from the Latin culture I'd been used to back home in Spain. My three years there were pretty difficult. I never really felt at ease. On the one hand, I made some good friends from other countries and I got to know some really good people who I'm still in touch with. But on the other hand, the country, the people, those in the club where I worked, all treated me and other players really badly. That was the most difficult thing about the situation. By contrast, in Greece, I was very happy at PAOK Thessaloniki. It was a club where they treated me very well and helped me. I made many friends there. It's a great football club that I have a lot of affection for. The last few years, of course, I've been back in my hometown playing for Deportivo. I was really happy to be at home with my family. And now I have the opportunity to play for Arsenal. Arsenal might be where his story is now, but plenty of twists and turns have happened along the way. In hindsight, each has been worth it, but at the time, it wasn't so simple. The move to the Ukraine was a difficult one, but one that Lucas doesn't regret, as frustrations at Rayo Vallecano forced his hand. Such is the life of a footballer learning their trade. Mainly it was because those in charge of Rayo Vallecano at the time didn't seem to be placing a lot of trust in me. I was playing in the second team when I thought I should have been in the first. So I decided to move to Ukraine along with two other teammates who were friends of mine and also Spanish. We got the chance to play first team football and to play in European competitions such as the Europa League. That was also my thinking in moving later to POK Thessaloniki. As regards Ukraine, it just goes to show that when you move club purely to advance your career, it can be a very difficult move in other ways. Fighting to make a name for himself, Lucas's football odyssey has been a struggle at times, but it's also had its fair share of highs and one of them was to return to Deportivo La Coruña. After his spell in Greece with PAOK, his boyhood club came calling, and it was there that he exploded onto the scene. Equaling club legend Bebeto's single-season goal-scoring record and saving the club from relegation signalled his arrival on the world stage, and it caught the attention of Arsene Wenger too. I was delighted to go back to Spain, to my home club, to the club I'd always supported and followed closely, Deportivo La Coruña. All my family and friends frequently go to matches. I'd always wanted to play there, so I felt both flattered and proud to finally be part of Deportivo. I like to make the most of every opportunity, so when the chance arose to return to Spain and play in my hometown, I didn't hesitate to grab it. POK did a lot to ensure my move back to Spain went as smoothly as possible. They knew it was what I really wanted. Then, when I equaled Bebeto's record, I felt immensely proud to become part of the club's history, especially as he's a club legend. As for my decision to come here to Arsenal, that was because it's a big club where you're going to be fighting for titles and playing alongside some of the best players. It's a good challenge for me, 
To be honest, I'm really happy with my career progression. Well travelled and certainly well tested. It's easy to see that Lucas's footballing path has shaped the man and player we see today. He's determined and uncompromising. And most of all, he's happy in his new home and his next big challenge. When I compare the person I was at 15 to the person I am now, I can see how much I've changed. The most significant period for me was my time in Ukraine. I was only 21 and I had to mature quickly. You adapt to a new way of thinking both professionally and personally. One of the biggest things is to work out what you really value in life, despite what others may be saying. At the end of the day, you realise what's important, like your family, your country and other things that you miss. Experience teaches you all sorts of life lessons. My time in Ukraine marked a big change in my life. Through difficult experiences, you learn a lot about life. From where I'm now looking back, I'm really proud of what I've achieved. Moving from a little club in Ukraine and ending up at Arsenal, there are not many players who manage to do that. I'm really happy with how my career has gone. You learn much more from difficult times than from good times. You need to have gone through some tough times to appreciate the good. I'm at Arsenal now, which is great, but you never know when things might change. When you're having a bad time, be aware what's happening. When you're having a good time, make the most of it and appreciate what you've got.